This video is going to guide you through adding a help desk using a WordPress plugin. The tasks covered in this video include purchasing the premium help desk plugin for WordPress, uploading the plugin and installing it, customizing the plugin based on your requirements, adding a help desk page to your business site, adding an Ajax login to your sidebar on the help desk page of your business site, adding a help desk link to your site, and finally verifying that the help desk functions properly. The first task you need to do is purchase the premium WordPress plugin. To do this, just click the link that's above this video. It'll be wordpresshelpdesk.net forward slash buy now. Once you're on this page, enter your email address. Very important here, enter your business site domain. The key they give you is going to be registered to that domain. Once you're done purchasing through PayPal, you're going to get a confirmation email which is going to contain download instructions as well as a registration key. So once you have that, you want to log in to your WordPress admin panel and you want to upload and activate the plugin. Now I actually already have it uploaded to my Ask Info Media company site and the way I uploaded it is I clicked on plugins, I clicked on add new, I clicked on upload, and then I browsed and I found the plugin file that was in zipped format. And once I uploaded it, I activated it. And as you can see here, if I scroll down to the very bottom of the page, WordPress Help Desk right here, it's activated. Now, once it's activated, you're going to have several different options. The first thing you're going to need to do is click on Settings and you're going to enter your activation key. Once you have that entered, you'll click on Update. So if I click Update, okay, activation key is valid. You will get the same message and then you can go down here and you can customize the settings. You can add a from email. This is the email notifications that are sent uh, to your customers or the people who are creating the support tickets and these are notifications sent to your staff. As you can see, this is much more streamlined than OS tickets. It make, makes things a little bit easier. The first license, I believe, is $49, give or take $10. You can actually get subsequent license for other websites you own for only $5 per license. The first one costs the most, and then the subsequent ones are much less. So. Some of the functions here, you'll have the manage tickets, which you can see right here, and you'll also have staff. You can add new staff members, and in addition to that, you'll have categories, and you can order the categories however you like, as you can see right in here, and you can create as many categories as you like. In addition to that, you can have canned responses if, some, if a lot of... Uh, the same question is asked. You can have a canned response for it to save you time. And this is the settings, which you've already seen. The reset, you can reset the whole plugin and start over if you want. And then finally, help if you have questions. Also, very important, um, under general settings, when you activate this plugin, you need to go check membership right here. Anyone can register. And then new user role there will be customer as an option. Anybody who's going to submit a support ticket when they register, they're going to be listed as a customer. So once you actually have the plugin activated and you have it customized, now what you need to do is add a help desk page to your business site. So now I'm going to actually go to the secured property investment site and show you how to do the rest. So I'm in the secured property investments dashboard. Uh, really quick, I just want to be sure this is important. I want to do anybody can register. As you can see, I'm not going to have the customer option here because the plugin is not installed on this site at this point. So I'm going to click on Save Changes. Okay. And once I've done that, I want to add a help desk page to the site. So I'll click on Add New, and I've already done this. So I have my help desk page, which is right here. What I want you to do is highlight over this and then the bottom left I want you to note the actual post number in this case it's 48 and I need to remember that it's very important because when I do the next 
task of adding the Ajax sidebar login form. I only want that form to show up on this particular page, and that is post number 48. So this is what I've done. Help desk, please log in to the help desk using the form to the right. If you don't have an account, please create one. So this is the help desk page. So I'll click on update. Oh, one other option that I want. I want to click this and discussion. I do not want people to leave comments or have track back. So I click update. All right, so that's the help desk page. That's done. Now what you need to do is add an Ajax sidebar login to the help desk page. To do this, you can download the plugin. It's just below this video. And then just like all the other plugins, you're going to go to the plugins page. You're going to click on add new and click on upload. We'll browse and we'll find the Ajax plugin in zipped format right here. Log in with Ajax. You want to install it. Activate the plugin. Okay, the plugin has been activated. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to widgets and log in with Ajax. And I'm going to put this above the recent posts. And you can do show a profile link, you can do Ajax registration, we'll do template, we'll just leave it as notes, and then widget logic. This particular plugin that was part of the initial plugins you installed is going to allow you to only place the plugin on the help desk page, which was post number 48. So I'm going to get the code and uh, show you exactly what to put in it. Right now, I am on WordPress.org. This is the codex page that contains the notation for all of the conditional tags. So the one we're looking for, it's a page. So we want this, but instead of 42, we want 48 in place of it. There is a link to this particular page um, just above the video in the task list. So just click on that. If you have any questions, there's a lot of different options you can use here to actually enter in the widget logic portion of the sidebar widgets. So I'm going to go back and right here I'm going to paste this. I'm going to change this to 48 and what this is going to do is it's going to show the Ajax login only on the help desk page. So next what you're going to need to do after you've added the Ajax login sidebar you need to add a help desk link to the secondary menu. So to do this you'll click on menus and as you can see I'm gonna remove this this is how you'll add it. You're on the secondary menu you're gonna click that particular box you're gonna click add menu and then it adds it you put it up to there you click on save menu now when you click help desk You'll see right here, here is the Ajax login that was just added. And here are the news results. If I go to the contact page, the login is going to disappear and you're only going to see the news results. So you go back to here. All right, then you can click on profile, you can log out, and there's also blog admin. So what I'm going to do is log out and show you what it looks like once you're logged out. So now I'm going to go back to secured property investments. Click on Help Desk. Okay, as you can see, you can log in here. Your other option is to register. And this is how you register. Ajax registration is enabled. You just click that and you register. And that's what your visitors will be able to do. So I'm going to log back in. And now I'm successfully logged in and it redirects me to the dashboard. Your users who are supporting tickets, they'll get to the dashboard, they'll have access to their user account, and all of this information here, posts, media, links, pages, appearance, plugins, users, tools, and settings, will not be visible. The only thing they'll have access to is the actual help desk itself, as well as their profile, and that is it. So once you have all of this set up, 
just go through and test and verify that everything works properly. You shouldn't have any difficulties. If you have questions, just let me know and I will be more than happy to answer them. Once again, thank you for listening. Bye for now and I will talk to you soon.